Well, Kobe Bryant ended his NBA career last night with some, what some are calling the perfect Kobe game. He scored 60 points. Fox's Jim Gray spoke to Kobe last night. Just watch this. The, most. the process of it, you know, the, the training of it, the, the, you know, the preparing for games, you know, the preparing for, you know, the, the, the top players in the league, right? You know, coming together with my teammates and figuring out what those strategies are, you know, seeing them maximize their potential, like, you know, those things are the things that, that I'm going to miss the most. How do you want to be remembered? You know, I, I said a long time ago, uh, when I was 15 years old, I made a promise to myself and said, at the end of my career, um, I want people to think of me as a talented overachiever, uh, that I was blessed with talent, but that I worked as if I had none. And uh, if I could remember, be remembered that way, that would, that would be pretty good. Perfect ending. You've given us a tremendous rest. No, thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Jim Gray is with us right now. Jim, congratulations, a fine interview. I was intrigued by what Kobe Bryant would miss. Mm. Uh, I thought he might miss being the greatest player in the world, but no, apparently not. <laughs> Go. Well, he's so much into the preparation. He's so much into trying to get better tomorrow than he was yesterday. He has dedicated his life to the sport of basketball, to the game. Uh, he has been at times tormented by the perfection and trying to get to that commitment of excellence that he has and he wanted it out of himself first and then his teammates uh, and he got uh, he got there he won five championships yeah. and uh, he's going to really be missed and and it's going to be hard for him to walk away from this he, he knows it's the right decision he knows it's time and uh, uh, last night was just incredible uh, he Jim, willed uh, that team to come back it uh, was just an amazing scene I, I can't remember a sports ending like this yeah really Look, I'm, I'm a real outsider on basketball, but I perceive Kobe Bryant as the outgoing great star. The incoming great star is Steph Curry. That, that's my interpretation as an outsider. But the two are very different players, aren't they? Oh, much, much different. Uh, Kobe was uh, above the rim. He was the uh, heir apparent and, and took the torch and the banner that was passed from Connie Hawkins to Dr. J to Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant. Uh, Steph Curry is perhaps the greatest shooter that it, the NBA has ever seen. And what a story that he's done uh, up there with his teammates, Clay Thompson and the whole group. 73 wins. That's almost impossible. 73 yeah. and 9. They said that the record wouldn't be broken of the uh, Bulls. I don't see how that record of the Warriors now will ever be broken. I guess somebody might come along, but to win 73 games and only lose really? 9? <laughs> That's incredible. Astonishing. He's, even as an outsider to the game, I do understand that that is incredible. <laughs> and it won't happen again in my lifetime. I'm convinced of it. Jim Gray. Come on, Stuart. What's taking you so long? Get involved in this. Come on. Be a basketball fan. If you can't love that, I mean, come on. Forget about that football or soccer or whatever it is you call it. This basketball is wonderful. Yeah, you, you, it's very down. hard to do this, Jim. It's very hard. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Jim Gray, congratulations. Terrific interview. And thanks for being with us this morning, Jim. Appreciate it. Thank you, Stuart. Now